Hi, Mike King here. Hope all of you are safe and well and that you're minding your social distancing and wearing your mask and using your hand sanitizer and all those good things uh, to help this stay under control and to push it back and try to flatten this curve. I know we've been having some spikes lately around the country. For the most part, VOA has been able to avoid that. We have a couple of areas where they're having a challenge right now. So uh, let's, let's all try to mind our protocols and keep doing the things that have, have made this work for us uh, still still even with the recent spikes in some in some areas we still are well below the national average on on all statistical analysis uh, and that's only due to your your dedication protocols passion and your courage for this in honor of your courage we've been continuing to call Congress uh, and ask Congress for some help and so we have sort of a call to action for you this week. We're really focusing on the PPP loans uh, that the Small Business Administration are doing uh, uh, to expand that to include nonprofits, more than 500 employees, about 25% of our local affiliates, including national services, have more than 500 employees as we've encouraged mergers in recent years to try to streamline administrative costs, push more dollars out for services. We have a great many of these They've been ineligible. We're really talking to local congressional representatives, both senators and, and House of Representatives members about this, encouraging them. We're getting some encouraging feedback. The next two weeks is critical, absolutely critical. Major planning, major negotiating going on right now. It's a tough issue. Encourage you to kind of stay in tune on this and ask you to call your folks. Call your folks in your local districts, your local congresspersons, your local state senators, please encourage them to take a hard look at this and to listen to the language that we're providing them. We're providing them language to carve out large nonprofits within the human services arena, areas of people that we serve the most vulnerable. It's an important issue for us. Also, also on another front, the charitable tax deduction above the line, which made it into the first stimulus package with a max of $300 being recognized. We're advocating for that to be expanded and using your facts and figures from the fact that we're literally reduced to online giving. Online giving is all we can do. All the big special events, all those wonderful things that you guys do with major fundraising breakfasts and lunches and dinners and personal, personal interaction on that have all been canceled because of the COVID-19 virus. We need help here on the tax deduction going above the line and expanding its usage. Every time we've seen changes in the tax law, it's had a wonderful effect on nonprofit giving when they've done this in the past. So we have an opportunity there as well. So again, those are the two issues, the charitable tax deduction, expanding that $300 limit to in the thousands if possible, and also the PPP loans. Now, another just reviewing kind of what's been happening for us in the last several weeks. I've been amazed at the productivity of all of our staffs, local and national, in working remotely. In working remotely, there was always a great fear around that, that you would lose productivity, dramatic impact on productivity. Folks wouldn't have the discipline and all the other. Well, that has just not been the case. Our organization has been phenomenally productive. You at the local level have been incredibly productive. At the national level, same story, same story. So proud of that. It has made us more nimble. It has made us faster. We've been able to capitalize on things and maximize opportunities. That's happened throughout our organization. And just today, I was in a virtual meeting of a planning retreat of our church governing board, having their planning retreat virtually through a major Zoom meeting, breaking into small groups and everything else, and hearing, hearing our new chief ministry officers, James Marshall, his new strategic vision for the ministry of our wonderful organization. Great dialogue, great conversation, completely productive. I don't want to steal any of his thunder. There's more work to be done. Watch for this in the, in the very near future. But it's wonderful, creative work of how we take our ministry to the next level. Being done right now, virtually, people working remotely and calling into this and doing it over a two-day period of time. Wonderful work being done and led by Pam Richardson, the new chair of the church governing board in concert with the staff led by the Reverend James Marshall. Great work there. Thank you so much for all that you were doing. Please stay safe. Please stay well. And God bless you.